Hi guys, it's Paul here and Thomas. Hello. And what we've done is basically finally had a chance to do some flying again. And we've got the Remzibi OSD. And the difference this time is we're using the IB Crazy antennas. Yes, the circular polarized clove leaf and skew planar antenna. That's right there. So the skew planar is actually on the receiver and the clove leaf's on the transmitter. That's correct, yes. So here we are sort of flying in our local park. Uh, the problem we used to have before was as soon as you got close to the road on the edges of the park and you started banking, you would start to uh, drop Multi signal path. and get distortion. and It multipath a lot. It dropped, dropped out basically. Um, we still get dropouts now when we're going directly over the base station. But that's it. That's probably the only place you'll notice any issues with the video signal. You'll notice when we get further out and we bank, we don't seem to lose signal. And the actual um, quality of the footage is more high quality, I think, too. It looks a lot more high quality. It's, right? it's working a lot better. Like, at around this region here, we would definitely lose a little bit of signal before, even though we're flying a fair way out. Um, whereas at the moment, it's rock solid. It'll probably drop a little bit now because we're going to go directly over the top of us. And we're just about on top. We'll be gone a little bit to the side. A little bit there, there you go. So um, that's probably the only place where we drop a little bit of signal, don't we? That's it. But flying out, actually the further we've gone out, the better it actually is. Um, yeah, we just went on top of us. That's actually. right. So the signal should clear up now and we're pretty much spot on here. And I think we fly out probably about 200 metres or so, is that right? I think somewhere about that vicinity. Yeah, we did. So I think you got a, I think um, you checked it we're just out. We're just outside the park now, and we've hit 200 metres, just over 208, 210 metres. So um, we're sort of outside the park here. I didn't want to fly any further because we were a little bit worried about the... There's new equipment. Well, not the new equipment. More, more the range of the actual, um, the control system, the radio control. True. So, um, we've got to test that. We're over the top of houses too, so it's not the ideal place to be actually testing range. I don't think someone would appreciate an aircraft in the backyard. <laughs> um, so look, it really worked well. Uh, the reason we haven't edited uh, this video too much is I want you to see exactly what the signal is actually like. Uh, this is using the Hobby King setup, the 5.8 gigahertz system. Uh, it's also the cheaper PAL camera. Uh, we went with the cheaper one only because the reviews of it were a lot better mm. than the more expensive one. And um, The quality is alright. Yeah, the quality is quite good. And the on-screen display works well, so no real issues. This is towards the back of the park there. Yeah. 170, 180 metres away, no dramas at all. And even when you go into a bank like that, as you saw, the signal didn't drop at all. It's it's quite good. Yeah, circular so polarisation does help a lot. Look, the antenna system I'm really blown away with. I wasn't expecting these sort of results. I'm interested to know what sort of range we're going to get. Um, it's going to be interesting to see uh, when we do some serious range tests and see how this antenna actually holds up. So here we are coming in for a final approach. And about to land. The weather was really rough today, wasn't it? It was windy. Yeah, the Bixler handled it really well. Yeah, it did. And my kinetics. And your kinetics did handle it very well too, actually. So here we go. We're going up for a second flight. This flight... Um, Actually, the altitude doesn't look correct there. It's negative 25. Yes, we have had a bit of problems with the altitude reading. That's the only one. I think I need to let it, before I hit the home button, let it sort of sit there for about five minutes, um, and then it should be fine. The, the arrow's working well. The heading's working well. The plane's working well. The airspeed indicator, all that seems to be working fine, even the voltage. Um, we're down to, what, 10.1 volts at the moment. So um, I think we're going up a little bit higher this time. And as you go higher, you seem to need to fly a little bit further away from the base station. Otherwise, you tend to get more multipathing, which sort of makes sense. You need to be a little bit further out. Um, and this is all good. And we get a little bit of noise here. And that's really anything. Still, I yeah. reckon it actually still looks better than what it was oh, look, it's, Robbie Ducky. It, it's far better. I mean, the um, I cannot believe what a difference these are. Um, antennas actually make yeah. really well worth the time and effort and they're smaller than the rubber ducky yeah the 5.8 gigahertz um, cloverleaf and also the skew planer were quite challenging to make weren't they because they were so small yeah i actually expected them to be a little bit bigger 
So, um, but and, uh, it'll be going. This is actually, and, um, this is the first one that we made too. And, um, there were a few bits up, but they're only by a tiny bit. And this is the footage that you get out of it still. Yeah. So I wonder what it's going to be like when we create a full on. Yeah, look, the, the angles on the antenna are not perfect by any means. I haven't tried to get it perfect. It was more just to try it out. I'm going to probably knock up a brand new antenna set and um, really put the time in and get templates to actually measure, measure out the angles and get it all 100% correct. But look, um, getting your base station antenna up nice and high, as is up around about two meter mark. And also a set of these antennas make the world of difference. And the quality is um, it's actually a lot smoother than what it was um, before. Yes, yeah. And as you can see, we are coming in on another final approach, I think. I think you overshoot it this time. Ah, that's right. That's it. Cause, um, want... Yeah, go on. I think I'm flying. I might be flying. Oh, you might be one. flying your... Yeah, and I'm, and I'm um, braving the wind. I'm in a, about to stall. And I'm like, Dad, landed. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, I think Thomas wanted to get his aircraft down. And I had to go for another approach. And he wasn't very impressed because he had to get his aircraft back up again. But no, look, your um, little kinetics, kinetics handle, handles are well too. Yep. So this is it. This is the final landing. And there you go. Look, I hope you found that useful. Um, I can't really add much more. There you go. There's young Thomas. And thanks very much for watching. See ya.